Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new. And today I'm really excited to be sharing with you my completed coloring pages for the month of November 2024. And as you can see, what I have here in the background is perfect for fall. It's something that I made. You can see the back. I'm not done with it. It's a work in progress. But if you want to know more about this, um, I did do a video, Maya's Mixed Media Updates, on my other channel, Crafted by Maya. So if you're interested to see what craft projects I'm working on, uh, I will link that below if you want to check out my other channel. Now let's get into the coloring pages. So the first page is out of this beautiful book. Um, I didn't translate it. I'm sorry. It's in German. Something nature, world of nature. I don't know. But uh, by Rada Prince um, on Etsy. She also has some books on Amazon. But uh, this is a German publisher, and I actually got it on Blackwell's thanks to Shelly, who put a link in her flip through. So Shelly from Shell's Coloring Journey has a flip through of this. And, um, but I actually found out about this book from a wonderful viewer who sent me a mini flip through on Instagram. So thank you to my viewer. You know who you are. And um, she let me know about this book. This is the first page that I completed. And it is, I, I just love the book. The paper is not, you know, great, but that's okay. Uh, this is my first page in here. And as you can see, I based it entirely with uh, alcohol markers. And um, I did go on top with pencil. I have a little bit of gel pen to cover up some black lines. But it's mostly alcohol marker with pencils on top. And I love how it came out. Um, I really want to, I actually filmed how I did this background and I was so upset that I lost the footage. I wanted to put it in my coloring update to teach you guys how to do this background. It's super easy, but, um, I'll have to refilm it because like I said, I lost the footage. So hopefully in the future, but that is my page in here. And I just love, this is one of the scenes that called out to me in this book because of the trees. And I love the little river. Like this is the kind of scenes that I love. And this, this book is absolutely gorgeous. I love the illustrations, so I can't wait to do another page in here. I kind of want to start a bunch of pages in here, just go in and start everything. So I might do that. We'll see. So that is my page in uh, Wald und Natur. My next book is uh, Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Erie. And the Romantic Country series are probably my favorite books, honestly. I love Eerie. They're just so fun to color. And I did this uh, page right over here. Uh, many, many of you may have seen it on my oil pastel video where I... Let me go back a little. Hang on a sec. Let's go back. So like I said, many of you may have seen this in my oil pastel video where I did um, a lot of this with oil pastel. Um, I, I finished up the rest with some watercolor and pencil on top. And I love how it came out. It was actually pretty simple because I covered a lot of ground with oil pastels. These I did with um, Neo Color 2 and these with the um, Inktense paints. But the rest are my Prima watercolors with pencil on top. And yeah, just a fun scene. I tried to, I did the trees yellow to kind of go with fall a little bit to give it a fall vibe because I finished it in November and I colored it kind of during the fall months. So that is my page in Erie. And if you didn't see my <clears throat> oil pastel video um, of this page, I will link it below. The next book is Katma Sutra by Paul Ko. This book is a happy mail from a wonderful viewer, Nini. Thank you so much. I love this book. And this month I did, I finished up this um, page right here. And last month I did that one. But this month is this one. And I love how it came out. So I 
did base this with alcohol marker, pretty much. And I went on top with pencils. I did do a little, of a, a little bit of Calero watercolor for the stripes here in red. And a little bit on the cat. Um, just a little bits of Calero and some um, metallic gel pen. And yeah, it was a very simple page, very, very fun. And this cat is just adorable. I love this book. It's very, very simple, perfect for beginners. And the paper is phenomenal. I'm a big, big fan of this book. I absolutely love it. So that's my page in Katma Sutra. The next uh, book is A Little Town of Bears. And um, I love this book. I do have a completed page from the past in here, which is that one. But this month I completed this page. And um, I love how it came out. I used a lot of ink tents in here, ink tents pencils, watercolor pencils, my super color, too soft, my favorite watercolor pencil right there by Karen Dash. I also used some Prima watercolors, other watercolors and pencils on top. So a lot of water media. Now this book takes water media just beautifully. You, you can really move the pigment on top. It doesn't soak in right away. So it's perfect for watercolor pencils, honestly, and anything like water-soluble pencils, water-soluble media. I also use some Neocolor in too, Neocolor 2 in here. But um, I love how it came out. Um, my favorite part was the trees and the scenery. The last bit that was hardest for me to complete was the little characters because it's not my favorite to color little animals, honestly. I'm more of like the scenery. I love the scenes and the trees and the greenery, the bushes. So that was my favorite part, but I did force myself to finally finish it. Obviously, these kind of pages take a while. And but I did it I did it over a couple of months. So I would work on it, you know, here and there whenever I felt like it. And whenever I open up to work on a page, it it feels like a new page to me because I haven't worked on it in a while. So that's how I complete double page spreads. I spread them out over a couple of months and finally finish them. So I think this is my masterpiece for the month. Um, this was my most complicated page, I think, and took the longest. So, but I do love how it came out. And that's in Wonderful Town of Bears by Waka Nakanuchi. Beautiful book. And I originally saw that on Coloring with Kay a long, long time ago and got it because of her she's one of my enablers um okay the next book is alice's adventures in wonderland by charles santori and i also showed this page on my um uh, oil pastel video if you happen to see it I, again i said i will link it below but this is the completed page i finally finished alice I gave her a pink dress because I thought it would be a nice contrast to the blue sky. And um, I love how it came out. It actually came together really quickly. The dog and the sky was all oil pastel. Um, she, I did with, with uh, Alice, I did with watercolors and watercolor pencils. Um, some ink tense paints here. And then all the grass, I just did a wash of a green a green watercolor and then I went in with different things and added shading and a little bit more color so that's just a really easy way to do like a big area like that but yeah so that's my page and I love how that one came out it was a lot of fun by Charles Santori I definitely want to do more in here and I do have a um oh that's beautiful I do want to do a video of I keep saying this, and I promise I will do it, of my Alice in Wonderland book collection and completed pages. So hopefully very, very soon. Um, the next book is Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford. And this is a book that I am trying to complete because I have the most completed pages in here already. So I have a lot of completed pages in here, as you can see. Now the page that I did this month is, where is it? Here it is. It's funny because last year I completed this one in October or November. 
something like that. And then this, this year I'm doing this. So this was last year. This is this year. Uh, this is a page I completed this year. And as you can see, I did an, an oil pastel background. Now I did a first layer of just green, a little bit of yellow here, and then the, the trees. I just did a very rough trees with my finger like this. Once I fixed it with the satin glazing liquid, then I did another layer on top and I added the grass with the ink tense paint. I added these bushes with some oil pastel and these with oil pastel. And actually there's ink tense paint in here and oil pastel, both. It's a very mixed media page. So it was two layers. And um, then the actual element, because this was just a, a white space and it was just this chest basically and these little elements. So it was up to you to create a background and um, I didn't know what to do for a very long time, but then finally I had this idea and I've been meaning to do it for a while for this page. Finally, I got around to doing it. Now the actual chest and stuff I did with watercolors, pencils on top. I did use some um, gold metallic watercolor by, I think it was Calero, some gel pens for the diamond and whatever. But yeah, it was a lot of fun, very, very easy. So it was actually pretty quick because oil pastel takes, is a very quick medium. It can cover a lot of ground. Um, I, I regret not filming this for you guys, but that's okay. I, I will film more stuff. Don't worry. And yeah, these are these kind of took pretty quickly. I think I did the chest with ink tents, uh, pencils. So I actually love how this came out. I love this book because I love like forest woodland theme I, because I love like fall colors. Anything forest theme I love. So I actually, this is my favorite Joanna Basford book. And I actually have another copy of this book with better paper. So when I finish it, I won't be sad because I have another copy. So I still have quite a bit to do in here. And this has been years in the making, you guys. I do have a video of my completed pages um, so far in this book. And I will, I'll try to remember to link it below. So that's Enchanted Forest. And I love it. Love that book. The next book is by Olga Golovishkina, one of my favorite artists, and it is called The Frog Princess. It's a thin book, but beautiful illustrations. I love Olga's work very, very much. Um, so fun to color. I think I wanted to start this page. That's why I have a paper uh, there. Let me find my page that I colored. Here it is. Um, this is my page that I colored for this month. I actually started it a couple of months ago. Finally, I finished it. It's a moose and um, on this little scene. And it was a lot of fun. I based it with entirely with alcohol marker, as you can see. And I, I did leave a little white. See how I left a little bit white here on the top? The highlight of the water. And when you go on top with pencil... <clears throat> Um, I did smooth out the transition of the colors. So you can see multiple blues here. And um, I have several videos of how to color with alcohol markers, but I should do another one because I haven't done one in a while. But basically, when you color with uh, alcohol markers, try to leave a little bit of white for the highlight. Then when you go on top with pencil, you have a, a nice highlight. I don't always leave white, but a lot of times I do. Um... And I did use a lot of my uh, gel pens, these the Langau gel pens to cover up a bunch of lines here. And I have a video on these. I'll try to remember to link it. I have so many videos to link. But yeah, I love how this one came out. It was a lot of fun. I actually colored the flowers with those gel pens, just straight coloring. So yeah, love how that one came out. And I just love Olga's work. I could just color it all day. The next book is a group buddy color hosted by my wonderful friend, Doodle Robot. And um, um, I don't have a lot of Hannah Carlson uh, books. I have Daydreams in this one and the, the two little ones from the kids. But I purchased this just so I could be in the buddy color group. And this month, oh, this I, is a, a whip actually. But it's a lot of fun coloring in here because the paper. The paper is fantastic. Now, 
Uh, this is the page that we did for this month. Uh, we picked this because of the fall, uh, because of the leaves. It kind of felt kind of fallish. It totally is. I had a blast coloring it, and um, it Hannah has very interesting designs. It's like this little design that she did, and her illustration style is very unique. Um, it's not my favorite, to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of her illustrations, but I love the paper in her books, so it's just so fun to color. Now, I did a um, watercolor background with the Gansey Tambi watercolors that I showed in my haul, and they were so fun. I just love the effect. Look at that. Then I did add pencil on top. As you can see, I add pencil. I added dark to kind of make this pop out. I used ink tents pencils on a lot of these elements and a little bit of pencil on top. I used Calero, see all that gold is Calero watercolors. And um, actually this gold might be the artsy watercolor that my viewer sent me, which is also a wonderful palette. And um, I used watercolors, gel pens. I covered a bunch of lines with my Langau gel pens. I have a bunch of colors of these. And I love how it came out. It was a lot of fun. Very, very, it was easy and just, just fun, basically. So um, at the point of this filming, I'm filming this early because I'm going out of town for Thanksgiving. So I haven't seen the other ladies, but I'm very excited to see all of their pages. Uh, ladies in the group and Doodle, thank you so much for the buddy color. I had a blast. And I'm sure I will enjoy seeing everyone's pages. So that's in Seasons. The next book is uh, Mouse Guard by David Peterson. And this is a buddy color with the wonderful Diane Dreams in color, who I really love. I love her channel. She has a relatively new channel, but I love her like personality, her vibe. And I love her New York accent. So I don't know what it is about certain people that I just uh, connect with a vibe and I just like it. I don't know. But she's one of them. So um, go check out her channel. I will link it below. But we did a buddy color in here. And it, we picked this page. And at the time of this filming, if I have her page, I will put it right after this. Now, what I did um, is basically I added a frame. It didn't have a frame. I added it because I felt like it needed something. And I made it gold. You guys know I love a gold frame. Like, I'm a gold girl. I love gold. So I feel like the gold frame really added a lot. And I did this with watercolors, ink tense pencils, and a little bit of pencil on top. But this paper is very, very smooth. So it's pencils is a little bit difficult for me. That's what I found. So I think I will be using watercolor on here mostly and pencils on top. That's what I'm going to be doing in here. I think I'm going to be coloring this with watercolors mainly and then pencil on top. I feel, I feel like that worked the best. I did film a little snippet uh, that I will put in my coloring updates to show you how I color with watercolor. And um, yeah, I love how it came out. I used some of my Artex markers to cover the lines. And it was a very simple page, very, very fun. So Diane, thank you so much for the buddy color. And I love your channel and um, hopefully we can buddy color in here again because this was actually my first page in here because of you, Diane. I finally did a page in here and I've been meaning to do a page for a very long time. And I'm so glad that I finally did and I can't wait to do more in here. It's a beautiful book. And I, I wanted this book for a very long time. I finally, you know, I was stalking eBay for a very long time. Finally, one day, one copy popped up for a very good price. So if there's books out of print that you want, just keep checking. These these books pop out out of nowhere. I'm telling you. So that is my page in Mouse Guard. The next book is Alice's Whimsical Journey in Wonderland. And the page that I did, this is illustrated by Senia Spirina, a beautiful, beautiful illustrator. I love it. Love the style of illustrations in here. And I'm so happy they didn't put a black backing because I wouldn't have bought it or I would have had to photocopy it because I don't like the black backing. And this is the page that I did. Um, I believe it's the second page in here. Yeah. I picked this page because of the tree and the leaves, obviously. A lot of leaves. If there's leaves in a page, I will color it. I don't know why. 
So Alice is sitting here and here's a little white rabbit. It's very, very cute. I based it with alcohol marker, basically entirely with alcohol marker and pencil on top. I covered a lot of lines with gel pens and I used a little bit of Calero. I don't know if you can see to add a little shine here to the purple and a little bit on her, um, her collar and stuff. So that was fun. So mainly gel pens and uh, alcohol markers and pencils. So love how that one came out. It was so much fun. It's a thin book, but very, very fun. And I love, I really like this book. I want to do more in here. It's very inviting. So the next book is Pila. Now I recently did a flip through of this on my channel. I started this page a long time ago but I finally finished it this month by Annie Volgvist. And it's a beautiful book. Please check out my flip through. But the uh, page that I did is this one. And um, I love how it came out. I used a lot of, I based it entirely, I think with alcohol markers, almost entirely. And you can see how I left a lot of white here. Um, and I added, um, pencil on top. I, I think I added another medium, I'm trying to remember, maybe a little oil pastel, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, I added some Calero uh, on top of the alcohol marker and pencils on top. It was a pretty quick um, coloring. And then I also did some uh, Artex markers to cover lines and the clouds here as well. So that is my page in Pila beautiful book unfortunately the paper is thin but um the illustrations are absolutely incredible so that is my page in pila um the next page is out of fairy tales by emily little hall olberg and i this page is a long standing whip i have another one in here that i that's my favorite page that i did in here but this is the page that i did this month a long-standing whip that I had started with water-based markers a long time ago and just never got around to finishing. I finally forced myself to finish it. I was like, Maya, you have to finish it this month. <laughs> I don't know why I was stuck on it so much. I don't, I think in the future, I don't know how much I'll be using water-based markers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what is my favorite medium for this book. But anyway, the paper is great, so maybe watercolors and pencils on top, I think. But anyway, um, it's just the mushrooms with the little dragonflies or moths or whatever they are in the little houses. So perfect for fall, um, and I'm glad I finally got it done. I do like how it came out, um, but I think I would do it a little differently now if I I would have left a little bit more white in the uh, for the highlight of the leaves. But... It was a lot of fun still, and I'm glad I glad I got it done. It's so nice to see it to see a finished page. It's it's an accomplishment because I love flipping through and seeing like a finished page, you know. So that is my last page. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. I hope you check out my other channel, Crafted by Maya, and I hope you. Have a wonderful, had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are looking forward to the holiday season. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.